reading will be from Romans chapter 6, King James Version. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Know ye not that so many of us were baptized into Jesus Christ, were baptized into his death? Therefore we are buried with him by baptism unto death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. For he that is dead is freed from sin. Now if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. Knowing that Christ being raised from the dead dieth no more, death hath no more dominion over him. For in that he died, he died unto sin once, but in that he liveth, he liveth unto God. Likewise reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body, that ye should obey it in the lusts thereof. Neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto God as those that are alive from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under law, but under grace. What then? Shall we sin, because we are under because we are not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey, his servants ye are to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death, or of obedience unto righteousness. That God be thanked that ye were the servants of sin, but ye have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered you. Being then made free from sin, ye become the servants of righteousness. I speak after the manner of men because of the infirmity of your flesh. For as ye have yielded your members servants to uncleanness and to iniquity, unto iniquity. Even so now yield your members servants to righteousness unto holiness. For when ye were the servants of sin, ye were free from righteousness. What fruit had ye then in those things whereof ye are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death. But now being made free from sin and become servants to God, ye have your fruit unto holiness and the end everlasting life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through our Lord Yeshua, Jesus Christ, our Lord. That was um, Romans 6, and I threw in the, uh, the real name of Jesus just for, uh, for those of you that still call him Yeshua. But uh, yeah, that's chapter 6 of Romans, and it's uh, very pertinent to me right now because of uh, my recent baptism. So reading that, um, and I like Romans anyway. I believe the, the book of Romans is uh, where they get, uh, no one is righteous, no, not one. We all fall short of glory. And it, it just, it death, just reading, you know, the writings of St. Paul really delivers the message that uh, even though that, you know, and King James English isn't really used anymore. So I'll kind of give you a summary of what chapter 6 was that I just read. I, I, I like to read from the King James because to me it's the most pure form of the word. But um, basically what he's saying is um, you were a slave to sin and then you became baptized and you died, buddy. Your old man is dead. You've been crucified with Christ. And with that crucifixion you are resurrected a new man and that's why you refer to the, the, the pre-baptism person that you were as the old man. So, you know, basically what he's saying is when you were the old man, you were a slave to sin. But now you are saved by grace. But because of being saved by grace, that doesn't mean you can just go out and sin freely. I think a lot of Christians have problems with that, especially this one, uh, to where you, you realize, hey, I'm saved by grace. Um, the Lord Jesus died for me, so I can just basically do whatever I want. Doesn't work that way. I wish it did. It would be so much easier to just, you know, uh, do whatever you want and then not worry. <laughs> but, but um, yeah, you change. It's it, the the thing is, is that people think, oh, so I have to be this great person for for Jesus to love me. Well, no, Jesus loves you already. You don't have to do anything for Him to love you. But when you love Him back, 
you allow him to change your heart to where your heart wants the same things that he wants so you become more righteous um, hopefully not self-righteous which is not a good thing but I thought chapter 6 of Romans was a was a good little book to read um, just you know for my first uh, reading of scripture and I apologize if I fumbled with the King James English a little bit but um, hopefully you are as blessed with that passage today as I, I am tonight while I read this early in the morning so uh, God bless you guys in the name of Jesus um, may grace abound and may you get miracles galore uh, I ask this in the name of Jesus Christ my Lord and Savior amen have a great day guys God bless bye bye